the solution is uh, the solution is uh, every is given this way. Remember that threads has their own program counters, right? Threads has their own program counters. What else? Stack. They have their own stacks, right? Registers. So, and they have their own registers. So, each one has a different stack, each thread. So, they have their own local variables, okay? The idea here is that, let's say, uh, thread one has its own stack, then thread one should have its own global variables too. So that's what they did. Okay, so each thread should have their own global variables. So if thread one is modifying a, a global variable, it is modifying its own global variable. Thread two has its own stack and it has its own global variable space. So that's that's that's one of the that's one of the solutions for the, for this problem. Don't use statics at all. And if you are going to use the globals, then you should get help from the operating system like that. So how do I make these kind of globals? So when you are making a global, when you are making a global, okay, when you are making a global, you should make system calls like make global an integer and and the address, for example, a pointer, a pointer to an integer, okay. So the, the operating system gives you a pointer to a position that would make uh, your uh, global variable. But there are other ways of avoiding the local variables, actually, uh, global variables actually, like in C++, right? Don't make any, don't make any uh, global variables. Uh, in Java, you cannot have any uh, global variables, actually. Uh, everything is <coughs> part of the class. Still, that you might have these kind of problems. That's the, that's the solution. For, uh, for converting your single threaded code into a multi threaded code. You should be careful about your global variables and uh, uh, you should be careful about your uh, static variables. Avoid using them. Avoid using mm -hmm. them. Uh, uh, mo uh, all the time, use, use your uh, uh, local variables as the global variables. Okay? Any questions? Anything I'm missing here? Using the threads? Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's that's that's the the whole thing that I will talk about the uh, threads and the processes. Now I will start talking about the uh, inter-process communication, the communication between two threads or two processes. If there are no questions, then I will continue. Ask me a question, and I will. While I'm switching to the other slide. Bir soru sorun ya, beklemeyin hocam. Hocam, e, burada e, Java'da yani global şeyler tutamıyoruz yani. Eğer mesela single bir objemiz varsa bunu nasıl çözüyor hocam? Ne varsa? Single bir objemiz var. E, bunun, şey, bir single bir tarz var, bir objeleri nasıl? Şey, ben, ben... Yani, if you have a singleton object, then make it a local object for a thread. I mean, every thread should have their own singleton objects. And if that singleton object uh, has to be a, a system-wide single object, then it has to be shared between the processes. And that's a topic of inter-process communication, actually. I mean, we are making a communication between two processes or between two threads. Uh, on that object, that, that means so it has its own problems. So if you are using, I mean, if if that object is read only, no problem. If you are just reading data from that, okay, not modifying anything, that's no problem. Then, but if you are modifying that object, then it makes it like a global object. And we are doing that too, right? I mean, our C out and C in objects in C plus plus. These are our globally shared uh, objects, everybody can use that. I mean, uh, everybody, I mean, if you have more than one program running, each program can use C out and C in at the same time. So what we, what we see at the screen is that one program is running some, printing something on the screen, then other program is running printing something. That, that's, that's the result, I mean, and if, if this is what you want, this is what you get. But if you don't want to be, don't want it to be shared by by, by different threads and processes, 
uh, then then just make one and, uh, or just make one for each of those. Make one for each of those. And sometimes we do that too. We make many many consoles for each application, right? Each application has their own console. So it is still a lot, and uh, there are problems with it. And you should be, you should be aware, aware aware of those problems that we are seeing. Okay, let's talk about this inter-process communication. Uh, two processes, sometimes, let's say, this is my process, another process, there is a thread here, another here, and sometimes they need to communicate. Sometimes, sometimes they need to share the same data, some data. For example, <clears throat> a number. This one reads that number, this one writes the number, okay? So, uh, so uh, with this kind of architecture, if two processes or two threads, okay, are trying to use the same memory location, are trying to use the same memory location. By the way, this is a very bad picture. I mean, this is not a good picture because two processes cannot share the same position because their are these spaces are different, right? So the, the more correct way would be like that. And, okay, so now they can do this. Because these two, two threads are sharing the same uh, uh, memory location, one can write to there and one can read from that, uh, that part. The problem here is that race condition. Where two or more processes or the threads are reading or writing some shared data, and the final result depends on who runs precisely when and uh, uh, is the, is called the race condition. Okay, when you read that one or when you write that one, uh, uh, shows me what kind of results I'm going to get on this on this memory location. Let's look at this on a small program. Okay, we, this, is, this is this is from the book directly. Uh, it is talking about the spooler. What is a spooler? We talked about it. What's a spooler? Print, print spooler. Niye hatırlıyor musun spooler'ın ne olduğunu? Yoklama nerede? Bitti mi yoklama? What is a spooler? Spooler is something from the 1960s. Print, print spooler. Söyleyin birinize ya, bakın bakmayın öyle. Benim bu saatten sonra dersim yok, bırakmayacağım. Bunların hepsini ekliyorum zaten. Atın bir şeyler. Hocam akü için rekord gibi bir şey. Hayır. İkinciler sonra anlattık. Bir dönün bir bakın bunları okuyun diye de ya. Mesra'ya düzen anlamında bir şey mi? Mesra'ya koyalım. Neyi ne dedi ya? Orada bahsettik evet ama o değildi yani. Değil. Şimdi spoda şu, bir tane printer var ortalıkta tamam mı? Ortalıkta bir tane printer var. <gülüyor> Printer'e işe yollayacaksın. Yaptığın senin şey, göndereceğin dosyayı spoda'ya yazıyorsun. Diyorsun ki ABC dosyasını bas. Bir proses bunu koymuş buraya. Bir proses probc'yi bas demiş, bir proses probne'yi bas demiş tamam mı? Onlar oraya koymuşlar. Spoda denen şey de, spoda denen şey de şunun başından başlıyor tamam mı? Ee, o baştaki dosyayı alıyor, printer alıyor. Ondan sonra bunu alıyor, printer alıyor. Ondan sonra bunu alıyor, printer alıyor. Yani prosesler oraya şey yapıyorlar. Buraya kendi programlarını koyuyorlar ne print edecekse. Spooler da ayrı bir proses. Onları alıp alıp şey yapıyor, asıyor. Hani bu şey problemi vardı ya hatırlıyorsanız. Printer çok yavaştı. Printer'ı kullanmak için koca mainframe bekletiyordunuz falan filan. O yüzden multitasking ile bir tane proses sürekli olarak print ediyor bir şeyleri. Diğer proses de print ediyor. Oraya bırakıyorlar ve kendi işlerine devam ediyorlar. Böylelikle CPU'yu çok verimli kullanıyor. 
Aynı zamanda printer de sürekli bir şey print ediyor. Sık olur bu. Hatırladınız mı? Okuyun bunları ya. ya Birinci yapıda bayağı bir bahsettik bunlar. Okay, so this is the process. So process A and process B. They want to print something. Process A and process B. They want to print something. So uh, they, they come here and they try to find the which location is available. It says that in position is seven. Out position is used by the spoon. Okay. <coughs> Out position means that the the number four is is, is, is the, now it is run. It is now it is number four fourth turn to be printed. So the spooler will take number four out of that spooler. Okay. Spooler location and we print it and it will make the it will make this number five. So the spooler modifies this number. These numbers are modified by the processes. Okay. Process A and process B are running at the same time. Okay. Process A come here, comes here, and it says that okay. In A7, process A, okay, takes in as 7, okay, and it's going to put uh, its file name here, let's say its file name is def.c, and process B is trying to do the same thing, and its, it's file name is gh.c, okay. So, so process A and process B running at the same time. Process A read this number seven, and it's going to make it eight, and it's going to put this file name here. But at the same time, this process is running too. So when process A read this number seven, and uh, it says that so eight is seven, and at that point, the CP, the operating system decided that there is an interrupt occurred. The operating system decided to run this process, okay? So process A didn't didn't have the chance of writing that number eight back to this place eight, okay? So it, it thinks that in is seven, and it's gonna continue. But at the same, uh, uh, in the meanwhile, process B started running, and and it reads it and it reads that as seven, okay? So process B thinks that in is seven, so it makes it eight. Process A is suspended, and it puts file name here, gh.c. Then CP switches back to process A. Process A already read uh, uh, this variable as 7. So it thinks that the in is 7, although it is now 8. So it makes this in 8 again. It writes an 8, and it erases this part, it, it writes def.c. So what happened? What happened is that the file that process B is trying to print to the printer is lost, right? Because process A has overwritten on it. It, it, it, it, it. it thinks that the, the number in number was position number was seven, but it, it, it was already eight, and it replaced whatever process B has written there with def. This is called the race condition. If you share some memory location between two threads, these kind of problems can happen. One reads it after reading the variable, the CPU, the operating system suspends it. Okay, then another, uh, then another process reads the same variable and modifies it. When the other process starts running again, it thinks that that that value stays the same there because it already read it. It, it, it, it had already read it. So uh, this is called. Uh, race condition and it happens a lot with the multi-process, multi-multi-processed, uh, and uh, multi-threaded applications. Uh, and there, there are there are many many solutions for this race problem, and we will continue uh, with this class and next class looking at these. Okay, any questions about race conditions? So why this happen? It happens because your process might get suspended anytime. Okay, while you are reading a variable, writing to a variable, uh, or doing some modification with the memory. When you are modifying a memory location, okay, when you are, when, before you are done, you may get suspended. And when the other uh, process uses the same memory location, so uh, what you what you read from the memory is not the same anymore when you start writing back. Yes? Hocam, şimdi işini tamamen bitiremeden 
Well, that's called the race condition. If there is a modification uh, on the on the memory, then this process will not know it. Because you already read it, right? You said, what is the value of in? It said 7, okay? It thinks that the value is 7, but another process modified it in the meanwhile, it became 8. When you are writing it, okay, when you, when you say a gets the value of a plus 1, you need to, you need to read this value a, right? You read it, then you, you get suspended by the operating system, and you came back, and you think that the value is the same uh, uh, uh, again, and you add 1 to it, and you modify that variable. So in the meanwhile, the other process modified the value of A, and that one is lost now. So it's called race condition. Okay, so we will, we will look at these uh, race conditions when our two or more processes are sharing the same data. And in this case, the spooler loses the, the, the, the file name for this uh, file, GH.C. It will never get printed because there was a race condition. People say that in order to solve this problem, there should be critical regions. In regions where, where, in regions where, uh, the the operating system, operating system, should not, should not suspend you, or even if it suspends it, in these regions, for example, this one. Okay. This region, is a mutually exclusive region. Okay. In this region, process A, only process A can access to some variable, okay? Let's say my variable is in, okay? Variable in can be modified or can be uh, modified only by process A in this part. And in this part, it can be modified only by the process B. That's called the critical region. If you tell the operating system or if you tell the other, other uh, processes that you are in your critical region, then they cannot, they cannot modify the variables of that region. Okay? This is the solution. We would use a critical region, or sometimes we call it mutual exclusion. Some way of making sure that if one process is using a shared <coughs> variable or file, the other processes will be excluded from doing the same thing. Only I can modify that variable. Only I can uh, use that variable for uh, this region. Okay? It's called mutual exclusion. Part of the program where the shared memory is accessed, accessed uh, is called the critical region. So if you have a mutually exclusive variable, and uh, at the part of the program, only you are uh, accessing it, that part of the program is called critical region or critical section. Let's look at, let's look at some examples, actually, and we will know it. Better. Busy waiting. Okay, let's look at very simple but problematic example. Okay. So this is this is called uh, locking lock variables. Okay. Remember what was the uh, what was the the variable name for the spooler in, right? We would say that in gets the value of in plus one. That's what we are doing, right? So in order to modify, in order to modify this variable, I would look at this variable named lock. Okay? There is a variable global variable named lock. Okay? And if lock is not zero, is say, see this one? So what does this do? It is waiting for lock to be zero, right? If it is not zero, then it, it is in an infinite loop. If it is zero, that means that, that means that, if it is zero, that means that nobody else is using that critical region. And in my critical region, I have this expression. In gets the value of in plus one, okay? Then, when I do this, when I do this, critical region, no, I, sorry, sorry, sorry. This should not be here. I should, 
Absolutely. Yes, yes, that's, that's the problem. I should move this here. Okay. So, if lock is zero, if lock is zero, then I will not go into the loop. I will just make lock one, and then I am inside my particular region now. I can modify this variable, okay? The same variable cannot be modified by the process, other process. Why? Because when the other process starts, it will see that lock is one. So it will stay in the infinite loop. When I am done, I make the lock zero so that other processes can do the, can go into the critical, critical region and continue, okay? So this is the idea. This is the critical region. And this critical region could be used by a single process at most at the same time. No other process can go into this part at the same time, okay? Only a single process is allowed. This is, this is how, how does it work? It works because of these lock variables, okay? Because of these lock uh, variables. And uh, I, am, I, am, I am trying to give, give an example about the critical regions and the uh, mutual exclusions. Any questions on this? So we will come back to this method, lock variables. There is a serious problem with this uh, solution, actually. Can you see the problem? It doesn't, it doesn't solve the problem at all, actually. It doesn't solve the problem. Bir daha daha açıkla. Ee, i̇ki proseste kontrol etmiş olabilir. İkisi de sıfır olduğunu görüyor. Sonra bir tanesi yaptık. Bir, tanesi bir de İngilizce söylüyorlar. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> o proses <gülüyor> e, kendimizin